Hello, this is Matt Cook, a product marketing manager at iPass, and uh, we're going to look at the iPass Open Mobile Client. Um, so the iPass Open Mobile Client um, is part of the enterprise mobility services that uh, that iPass are announcing. Um, it, it's built on the new Open Mobile platform, which is which has been built from the ground up. So this is brand new client software, um, a brand new user experience, and perhaps more importantly, it's a brand new service delivery platform that lets our enterprise customers configure that user experience and take control of that experience. Um, it, it also equally allows them to um, look at the, that experience, look at the reporting data and see who's getting connected and ha how they're getting connected and, and allow them to then take that information and, and uh, uh, apply it to policies to say, um, I want my users to be connecting to the best available network and define what that best available network is. So what that means for me as a, a user and with the client software is, is that actually my, my IT guys can actually configure a policy that auto connects me to the best available network. So whereas previously with client software I would have had to have chosen a, a particular network and, and hope for the best and click the connect button and, and, and away I go. Now my client will always determine what the best network is. It will go through what we call smart uh, network selection um, to determine what is the best available network for me at any given time. And in some scenarios, if configured to do so, it will auto connect me. So actually, um, you might, might not necessarily need to use, see the client interface or in, and, and, and interact with it. I'll switch on my laptop. It will auto get automatically get me connected to um, the particular network, the best available network that my IT guys have defined uh, for me, um, and so I don't have to interact with the client software. But obviously, that would, wouldn't be a particularly great demo, and you wouldn't be able to see the client software. So, um, yeah, let's take a quick look at, uh, at that client software now. So, you can immediately notice it recommends a network to me. It's, it's recognizing this Wi Fi network straight away to me when there are other networks available. So, there is a Wi Fi hotspot available to me that's iPass enabled. There's also 3G, but you'll notice the 3G signal strength is particularly bad. Um, but my client here ha has preferred my own personal network because this happens to be my own home broadband network. So I know that, or my client knows that this is likely to be the most cost effective and the best performing network that's available to me. Um, so if configured to do so, the client would have auto connected. Um, and as a, an individual, I can control that auto connect, whether it does auto connect to those networks um, uh, or not. I have the ability to, to control that or it can be dictated by my, uh, by my admin. Um, so if we say uh, connect here, what you'll notice is it will associate me to the network and in fact immediately go off and get me connected to the VPN. So it's launching the VPN and it will go off and establish that VPN connection for me to get me online. So very little for me to do, in fact nothing for me to do if it had been configured in an auto connect scenario. Um, you know, we would be, uh, we would be there on, on, online and away we go. Um, so very, very simple um, in order to get connected. It's very, very lightweight and it's an always on client. Um, and that allows us to actually inherit connections from other applications as well. So if you had other connection managers running on your machine that perhaps got you connected to your 3G service or perhaps got you connected to your corporate Wi-Fi service, um, you know, we can inherit those connections and then perform characterization on them to say, okay, um, the enterprise policy says that when you're on the internet, an open internet connection, we need to launch the VPN or, or we need to make sure the personal firewall is running. Or perhaps when you plug into the corporate LAN, then we want to launch a particular application or um, we don't need a VPN, for example. So we can define all those policies based on connections made through this client software or, or through, in fact, through any client software. Um, so for existing users, um, you know, iPass users, you'll notice a much, much uh, simpler user interface. You'll notice actually that you'll be using the client a lot less. In fact, you know, again, where possible, you'll, it'll be auto connecting you. So you'll just be switching on your laptop, not having to select a network anymore and letting it take, a, uh, take those complexities of network choice away from you and putting them in the hands of the enterprise team who know about which is the net best network from a cost perspective and a performance perspective and let, those, let them make those decisions. So they have the web-based management platform to configure you know, a policy-driven experience, a customizable uh, user experience um, to make your lives a lot, lot easier um, when you're out and getting connected. So to test drive the service, uh, just go to ipass.com and take a look.